evidence. Nigeria as governor Oshomole blamed President Tinubu's reckless policies for the country's woes. My people, my people, they really say Wahala, it be like bicycle. You see this kind of statement where it be say, it can't come at now. The thing get as it be, as it be say, our politicians, some of them they talk the truth, some of them they won't shy away from the truth, too. the truth of the old matters, especially among the ordinary Nigerians. We know say that the policies where be say President Bola Ahmed Tinibu put down, now make things come out like this. So, any doubt not there concerning that matter. So, my people, my people, when I go hear the details of the news, according to several posts on Facebook, where be say can say former governor of Nigeria's Edo state say President Bola Tinibu's restless policy now they responsible for the country's economic crisis but there is no evidence that adam shomole ever made such a statement to tinibu restless policies they responsible for current hardship senator adam oshomole can't read the capture of a video posted on facebook where you can say bola tinibu the swear in as president of Nigeria in May 2023, you can see Adam Oshomole, now the governor of Nigeria's Edo State, from 2008 to 2016. You know, he was also president of the Nigeria Labor Congress of the country's largest trade unions. In the video, Oshomole can be heard saying, He said, Libra. Economic policies, it don't fail Nigeria. If it is not good for Nigeria, we won't do it. So, it can't they say the only thing where we say they get to sell our crude, though, and that crude is not determined competitively, it is determined by some forces in the West. So, whether the president of the US is they sick or whether the published data can shows the economic if they go down or whether china that they grow or slowing down or all of that nigeria as a nation no, we can't see say they face serious economic crisis and you can't see say citizens they can't they blame tinibu administration for high inflation no. when tinibu took office you see say he announced the removal of fuel subsidy resulting in increased fuel and food prices. So, from 1st to 10th August 2024, you can see Nigerians they come took to the streets to protest against economic hardship. The demonstrations were target and bad governors and end bad governors protests in social media similar posts can be found here and here but as it be so it should say oshomole can't make a statement about tinibu's policy no proof he made the statement oshomole now member of nigeria's ruling party the all progressive congress and a such blunt attack on tinibu who is also a member of the party is significant and would have made headlines, but they said they not found any reports about such statements in the media. Instead, according to the Nigeria's Vaga newspaper, the report can say Oshomole can blame the restless policies of former President Muhammadu Buhario for the current crisis. He can't say Buhari was the country's president from 2015 to 2023. A Google reverse image search of key frames from the video can shows that it was taken from a public lecture by Oshomolo 
the original video was posted on YouTube on 7 July 2024 with the headline, Tinibu is behaving like he does not want second term. Oshomo Lekon speaks on Nigeria's worsening economy, but nowhere in the original 35-minute video does Oshomo Le say that Tinibu's restless policies are to blame for the suffering of Nigeria. With the way the matter can't be so, he can't show say the video will be say in the circulate on social media is a small part of Oshomole's speech and its capture is misleading. No? The same claim was also posted year and year, of which if you go through, you go see the real gist of the matter. So my people, my people, you get as the matter be oh. The truth is that if not be say some of our politicians of today, they're not the feel they won't speak the truth. If true true, so Shomole, he made that kind of statement before. Not be statement where be said they wrong go. Because the truth is that this administration where be say can't lead to economic hardship. All ends they point to the current administration, no, because now where it just enter that position that last year, May 2023, now President Bola Tinibu can remove white subsidy. Nobody go want no say now waiting the previous administration put for grant. Now we see they continue to suffer. The truth is that now the white subsidy where be say our current administration remove. Now I can't make this worse like this so. Truly, of a true to, we still not say the pre previous administration. Now what is the staple for granted? No? But the truth is that our president, before he for remove this first subsidy, he for put down good plans. Where be say even if you remove the first subsidy and things can they add like this, you know, go to tell on the commoners. Because the truth is that the way the matter be, now the commoners, now that they hear a pass, so, then where be say they on top, they see they live their normal life, oh, nothing they affect them, oh. So, my people, my people, this matter, and also say, now matter where be say, it they very heavy for people to come, they say, whether Adam Oshomele talker or not. Everybody know the truth of the matter. But the truth is that anything will get beginning, it they get end though. If the mind will be say our current administration, they remove this first subsidy. Now for Nigeria to take their good, the end of his first tenor, he go show. But the truth is that if he not show, he not go there easy for him to come back for second tenor. Because if he not feel use first tenor before he end, they make things good. Now, second time, no way, be say, no say, no, come back again. Now, go come to repair the country. Now, so it be, oh. So, my people, the matter, in not past like this, so. This is Nabli channel. I better make on not forget to share and to subscribe to this channel. I salute to now.